Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali. If you guys are new here, today is Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week and I wanted to pick up my vlogging camera because number one, we're doing some more house hunting tonight. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I had so much fun sharing it with you guys in the last vlog. And number two, we are getting our hair cut today. It is just getting so long and I honestly don't mind it being so long, but it's looking a little dead and crispy at the end. This past weekend I was in Florida and I didn't really style it at all. And so it looked way more concerning than it does right now. Cause yesterday I actually took the time to like blow it out. And I feel like when you like actually, you know, use products and, and really take the time to style your hair, it doesn't look so dead and crispy at the ends. I mean, do you see the brown? It's like peeking out a lot and I definitely want to get um, another gloss on top. So we're gonna go to Spoken Wheel, visit Caitlin and Tim. Caitlin's the colorist and Tim cuts my hair. And so I'm gonna feel like a brand new lady when I'm touring houses today. Um, but I've been looking forward to touring these houses for a while now um, because since I was in Florida, I couldn't really tour any um, over the weekend. I need to get my stuff, pack my bag and head over to the hair salon. I am back and here's the new hair. It's a little bit more layered, obviously darker at the ends. And it's just like a nice little refresh going into the fall season. I came home and knocked out a brand deal, so I'm happy I got that done. I put on this really cute workout set from Aloe. It's like a skirt and top situation, but we are heading out to tour some houses. Get excited, you guys. I think we're touring like four, maybe. I'm not sure if she was able to get in and get scheduled for all of them today, but definitely two. Another day, another house to look at. We're so excited though. Um, I think we're actually starting on one of the houses that we really, really liked. We got our LaCroix to hydrate. I think I remember all of these being kind of fixer uppers. I mean, for the most part, they're definitely like livable and nowhere near as, you know, necessary to fix up as the first one that we put an offer on. But we'd probably want to fix it up to our liking. So we're gonna see it in not the best light today. So it is like a little bit cloudy. <laughs> But I guess, <laughs> but I guess not every day is like super sunny, you know? There's gonna be cloudy days, so. Like all winter. I mean, it's literally so sunny right now. We're just being so dramatic because we haven't seen cloudy days in like 40 days. Yeah, it rained yesterday. The outside of this house is really cute, actually. I like it. There's a vine growing on the wall and that's, that's like a requirement for my dream house. First house of the day, I was so disappointed because it seemed to be so bright in here on the photos online. But of course, they brightened the F out of them. The whole back area was pretty lit, but like in the pictures, the living room was so bright and beautiful. And I just thought this back area was honestly very unique. Um, and we had it outdoors, pretty big backyard. I feel like any house I look at, I want all of the floors to be changed because I really like that light wood look. And I also just don't love carpets. Sophie always has accidents on the carpet and I'm very much looking forward to the day that I don't have to clean pee off the carpets. This house did have a two car garage, which was amazing. Moving on to the next house, my dad requested that we see this one. It was facing east and he's super adamant about that. Um, it also had this really cool sunroom. And the best thing about this house is that it had a shed in the back that you could turn into an office, a gym, literally anything. And it was very like, interesting like the ceiling was cool um but it didn't have ac the bathrooms were really small um can't remember if it had like a ton of storage but it had a nice garage a nice little workbench situation but overall it was super super dark in the whole house moving on to house number three i think this was definitely my favorite of the day because of this primary bedroom with the vaulted ceilings and all this light coming through it already had some custom organization in the closet and this is the kitchen and living room area again with those vaulted ceilings i am obsessed with those and i feel like we could maybe put some skylights in here to make it a little bit brighter the kitchen was really nice and big and then they had the garage turned into a room which honestly we would probably prefer to have a garage um, because ryan really wants a place to park his car and not have it on the driveway. The backyard was huge and they had this massive deck. House number four and the last one of the day definitely had the most light coming through. 
this was a huge house you guys all the houses are livable but there's always something that i'm probably going to want to change like painting these cabinets but look how big this kitchen is they have this pantry and laundry room section i had this two-car garage with a bunch of workbenches. when i saw this closet i was like wow like when does it end it was so big and the primary bathroom had a window in it which i feel like isn't very common I liked it because it, you know, obviously brought in a lot more natural light. Hey y'all, it is Thursday morning. It's the next morning and I worked out this morning because I wanted to wash my hair. I was just like so eager to style it. So I'm really excited. I just want to like let it dry a little bit because it's like sopping wet right now. thought I would take the time to make some breakfast and I wanted to use these peaches that I got at Trader Joe's like literally at the start of summer. I haven't even touched them yet. So I was like, okay, today I'm going to use these. They're yellow um, peach halves and white grape juice and then I'm gonna put them on top of my um, lactate cottage cheese. <laughs> I actually really like this stuff and I keep forgetting that I have it. Luckily it hasn't gone bad just yet but I'm gonna use this. So yesterday's houses, let's do a little recap. I think like just like three of them were so dark and the last one was definitely our favorite. Um, it was massive, like it was probably over 2,000 square feet, which is very unheard of kind of in the Austin market, especially like in our budget right now. And so most of the houses are like under 1,500 square feet. So we were like, oh my goodness. But it also made us very overwhelmed with how much stuff there is to do and like renovate for the space. I feel like if it was like 1,500 square feet, it wouldn't be that overwhelming. But the kitchen is so nice. I mean, there's like a dining room. There's a little breakfast nook. Um, I mean, just in general though, I don't think we loved the area that we were in last night. Who the heck? My mom's calling me. I'll talk to her later. Um, but I didn't love the area. Just gonna be honest. I don't think we've even seen houses there. Um, I mean, we only went to see houses like two other times, but I don't know. Just didn't love it. So I think we're gonna still keep looking, but have that one kind of in the back of our minds. <laughs> I used to work at a pie shop. I probably say this like about five times a year in my vlogs, but that was my first ever job um, out of high school. And I learned, cause we baked cherry pies. I learned if you're having a hard time like getting the lid off of like jars like this, you just like kind of smack the top. Let's see, there we go. Like so easy. I don't know if that's a very well-known thing, but I was mind blown. my hair is pretty dry so I thought I would start styling my hair I'm gonna use like the Dyson air wrap but not the air wrap part probably just like the round brush and maybe throw in a couple of those um roller things so we'll see how it turns out the bangs look a lot shorter because they're like you know curled a little bit or like wavy because yesterday um Tim styled my hair straight I think I'm gonna really like it bangs just really finish it off i love doing my bangs like that but i really don't style my hair that often and i need to especially now that i have these really pretty layers you can like see them more when it's styled i think i had like two minutes to pick out an outfit and i think this is the cutest outfit i've worn in a really long time i'm very proud of myself but it's literally all of the basic stuff that i always wear when i do not know what to wear so we have my skims tank I wear this on the daily, like you can literally go back on my TikTok and see that all the TikToks are filmed in this in gray or black. And then I have my Stradivarius skirt on. It's just like so easy, so breezy too. Um, this little cardigan is from Lovers and Friends. It's so cute, I just added it for an accessory in case the coffee shop's cold because I'm meeting up with my friend at a coffee shop. Um, I have the Steve Madden sandals on. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. 
and then my sunglasses so i think they're from amazon too the layers are giving right now i really don't know why i put on the sweater i think i forgot that it was 100 degrees outside but it's so cute it makes the outfit so i'm keeping it on hopefully we will sit inside but we'll see because this place has a really nice outdoor patio i just pulled up to foxtrot on south first Foxtrot like randomly exploded here in Austin. I believe it's a Chicago thing. I think that's where it started. I could be wrong, but I swear they put up three Foxtrots within like two months. The first was on Burnett, the second was South First, and now they have one downtown. And so basically I vlogged about it before, I'm pretty sure. Um, my friend Eleanor just got here. She's also a photographer here in Austin. She does more product photography. Her work is actually insane. She shoots for Jay Shetty sometimes and I think it's so cool. Anyways, back to Foxtrot. It's a market, it's like a cafe, like they sell food, they have like a wine bar. And they also have like grocery stuff, like healthy snacks and other fun drinks so i'm excited to be back i think i've only been to this location maybe once or twice but it's been a while thank you thank you yum i got a tie guys this place is popping right now there's like no seats <laughs> and everyone's on their computer it's kind of insane This week I've actually been doing some workouts at home. I have been going to True Fusion and I don't know, something about it is just kind of reminding me of Orange Theory in the way that it's like getting a little boring to me, even though there's so much to choose from. And I go to different classes, but it's still getting kind of like monotonous. So I kind of wanted to take a pause. I didn't actually sign on to do the full thing. I'm still in my trial period. So I just kind of wanted to try to work out on my own again and see if I like that better. Right now I do, so I think we'll just continue to do that. So since I can do it on my own time, I wake up a little bit later and I haven't been feeling so fatigued, which I've been kind of struggling with in the past few weeks um, that I've been doing the True Fusion classes because I just feel so freaking tired by like 2, 3 that I like physically am incapable of like doing work, which is annoying to feel so unproductive, which luckily it's my slow season, so... And honestly, maybe that's why I feel like so fatigued because I'm like, okay, well, I don't really have like to do something. I don't have to be anywhere. I work well under pressure. So when I have things to do, like I get more things done. <laughs> um, so I'm honestly kind of struggling a little bit this slow season, but it's okay. We're trying to take it all in and um, appreciate the slowness. But anyways... I don't know why I got on that rant. All that to say, I literally just woke up and felt like a bus hit me. Um, it's like six something and I accidentally took a nap and I literally was like so out of it. So and that's lovely. Anyways, I'm gonna cook dinner because I don't wanna eat too, too late. Ryan's already playing golf though. We bought this really good steak earlier in the week and so I wanted to reheat it, but I am being a good girl and I'm not taking like the easy route to heat it up in the microwave because I know that just like ruins steak. So I put it in the oven um, at like 250 and I think it's been about like 17 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna take it out and sear it on the stove. Funny story, I was doing a UGC campaign for North Italia, which is this Italian um, dinner restaurant. I think it's a chain pretty much everywhere. One of their appetizers is called grilled bread and good olive oil. And I was like, Ryan, that's so funny because on my grocery list, I literally have it written out good olive oil because you know like olive oil that I cook with and olive oil that you want to like dip bread in it's just not really the same but I just thought that was really funny because I didn't know like other people called it good olive oil I guess I should probably use tongs I also need to get more tongs because that is a kitchen utensil that I use very often and I didn't really think I would use very often okay anyways we'll just use a fork Okay. Google said to sear it on the stove for a little bit after it's been like warmed up in the oven just to get that crispy outside again. So we're going to do that. And then I don't know if I'm going to just like eat the steak alone or what I'm going to do with it. Originally I was thinking maybe we could do fajitas and all um, cut up red onions and bell peppers. But honestly the steak just looks really good so maybe I'll just have that on its own.
Okay, this is dinner. I was a little lazy to do anything else. So we have run onions, steak, and a LaCroix. Good morning, happy Friday. Guys, look at my hair. It is like wild that it stayed like so voluminous and like the curls at the ends. This morning we are starting off at 7.50 a.m. Um, I have a headshot session pretty close to the Capitol. I have like the best view of the Capitol right now. After that, I'm not sure if I'll be able to squeeze in a workout, but I have my workout outfit on just in case but at 10 30 i'm going to film with shireen for her podcast we already filmed a podcast but apparently the mics were doing something funky and she was like it's not even worth like putting it up so that definitely sucks because i feel like that was such a good podcast episode but hopefully this one will be even better this is moody amphitheater and this is where i saw tate mccray like literally right underneath here is the concert platform and it's a really cool little area, but I like to do my headshot sessions here. I was not even out there for like 20 minutes, guys. And I'm like sweating. Oh, it's so humid in the mornings. And I usually always shoot in the mornings. <laughs> it's like just so gross. I totally forgot that I need to go to UPS. I've been literally procrastinating this for so long. I basically bought a yoga mat that wouldn't slip when I was doing the heated workouts, but then I found my hot works mat in college i used to do these like heated workouts they were in saunas there was a tv in there and they would play a workout and then you would do it in this like kind of really small sauna so we needed kind of like a non-slip mat back then but i swear i got rid of it i guess i didn't so i'm gonna go return that now it's kind of perfect because i just pulled up and they just opened here and makeup is done for the podcast recording i ended up not working out today i didn't really have much time but this is my outfit i have a hmm, oh i got this top from dish and then the skirt is from Amazon and it's so cute, very versatile. And I just have some like house slippers on. I'm gonna go walk over to Shireen's apartment. I'm with Shireen and we're about to record for the podcast. Come in, come in the video. Sorry. So chatty, like hi. <laughs> Anytime somebody so comes cute. in, he has to make his presence known. Um, she got new mics, so now we don't have to hold it, which is gonna be cool. And it looks so official. Let me show you guys. Yeah, you should show them. And the sun's coming in really nicely because the last time we filmed, I think it was afternoon, right? I think it was two or something. Okay, yeah, I yeah. think so. The lighting it right looks now so is good. Perfect. Yeah. Yay. We just got done. And how long did we record for? 47 minutes. And the last time, I think we did like an hour and a half. Something oh like that. Gosh. So definitely short, made it a little bit more short and sweet. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> Still got all the things we wanted to talk about. But just oh, we got a lot of good stuff. Scrambling. Yes. Social media guru here. It's later in the day, and we just made a really last minute reservation at one of my favorite restaurants here in Austin. We're going to the Peacock, and then we're actually going to a comedy show later tonight. I have been just wanting to go to a comedy show. I feel like the last time we went was a very long time ago, and it's just fun to laugh. And obviously you know get live entertainment instead of just like sitting at home watching a movie so we are going to fall out theater we went there last time and they honestly put on such a great show so i'm very excited to go back and also just eat my favorite freaking food ever um i'll probably vlog on my iphone just so i won't have to carry around this big thing because our reservation we could only go like really early so it's at 5 45 and We'll probably just like stay out until our comedy show because it's really late. It's at 9.30, so I don't want to have to hold too much. I'm going to go in like sandals, be able to like walk if we need to. Just wearing the same outfit that I was wearing earlier. Even the nicest restaurants here in Austin, like they rarely have dress coats. Join us for a date night in Austin. I feel like we have been such homebodies lately that even on Friday and Saturday nights, we do not mind staying at home. But you know, sometimes I feel so lame for not being out on a Friday night. So we did it up this day. We did dinner, drinks, and a show. Starting with one of my favorite restaurants in Austin, the Peacock at the Proper Hotel. Ryan really liked his espresso martini and this is the dip we always start with. It's toasted almond mahamata. I believe it's a roasted red pepper dip. And the pita bread here is so fluffy and delicious. Okay, this is another app you have to get. It's the Monte Dumplings. It has a spicy be filling and on top is a garlic yogurt spices some oil and oh my god i could eat three plates of these also off the meze i ordered the octopus i love the sauce that it comes with and of course you gotta squeeze some lemon i never leave without getting this dessert because it's one of my favorites here in austin it's the warm sticky toffee date pudding and if you don't like dates i swear you can't even taste it there's no chunks or anything it's like blended up and it adds the perfect amount of sweetness we had some time to kill before our show so we ended up walking to this bar that we've been dying to check out this is an 8c cocktail bar and it's called in plain sight when you drive by it this whole window fogs up at certain 
certain angles. We went around 7 p.m. and we were able to get a seat right away and there is some standing room in the back. I'm a tequila girl, so I got the a la vista. We hung out here for an hour and then headed to Fallout Theater. We've been here once before and we had so much fun, so we came back. We got here a little bit early, but they have these arcade games that are actually free. I was so confused. I did not know how my boyfriend even knew how to play this game. There was like no direction. But then we put on some Frogger and I used to love this as a kid. This is the show we went to and we bought our tickets online. A bachelorette party was sitting in the front row. And I thought that was such a unique idea. The comedy show was a 10 out of 10, just like the state night.